Hi there, my name is Trolls and welcome to yet another edition of Soundpaint. In today's video we're going to go deep into our new ultra deep sample Game Boy. And in a weird way I should probably call it Game Boys because we sampled almost a dozen of different Game Boys. The Game Boy was released um, between the period from 89 to 2003. So it was a long lifespan of 14 years where all these different generations of Game Boys were released. But what they all had in common was a very, very unique chipset. And the reason we sampled multiple units across time is that that chipset sort of varied a little bit over time. And we wanted to make sure we got all the micro most nuanced details out of it. But the core architecture of the chipset was actually the same across all the units, namely made from two square waves and one noise table and one wave table. That's a four voice analog synthesizer with a very unique and very nostalgic sound. There's no doubt we're in Game Boy world. And together with the Commodore 64 and the ZX Spectrum, we now have the Game Boy as well under all our Ultra Deep Sample chiptune synthesizers. And it's such a joy because we are so close to the units. And I was giggling a little bit when we made this library and the other ones as well for that matter, because the memory footprint of these would equal that of, I don't know, a million Game Boys probably, something crazy like that. So there is such an extensive amount of deep sample material here. So we virtually covered everything you can do with the Game Boy across all these different generations. But more importantly, it's my profound pleasure to present to you a new artist that we're working with. His name is Glasses, one of my favorite keyboardists and performers. And he's going to take you through this library and really show you what the Game Boy is all about. He has very extensive knowledge with chiptunes as well. And we both just felt a tremendous joy with this library because it is so close to the real thing, except that it's not just one generation of Game Boys, it's all the different generation of Game Boys, all the small variations we had in the analog chipsets. So without further ado, glasses, here we go. Hello, my friends. My name is Glasses, and I'm going to show you today Soundpaint's new Game Boy library. In fact, it's called the Ultra Deep Sampled Game Boy, and it's by far the most thoroughly sampled Game Boy I've ever come across in my life. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I was a 90s kid, and I grew up with a Game Boy pretty much glued to my hands. In fact, it's still glued to my hands to this day, and I just can't seem to get rid of it. I've always loved the sound of a Game Boy. It's very nostalgic to me, but even today, I just adore the sound of that chip. It's got this kind of fuzzy, warm sound that just always sounded beautiful to me. Now, what I love about this sample library is that they really went above and beyond to sample every single nuance of the Game Boy and every kind of sound it's capable of. And it's so easy to find the sounds that you want because they're labeled really well and pick, you know, mix them up or just choose individual samples that sound fantastic. Now, I've made a hundred different programs for the sample library. And what I've done is I've taken these sounds and for some of the programs, I tried to keep them within the chiptune realm. And then for others, I kind of took them outside of that realm because the sound's already ready to go anyway. I mean, you can start a new program and drag pretty much any part and it'll be playable and sound like a Game Boy. So what I've done is I've taken these samples and I've tried to augment them a bit with some cool effects. So now I'm going to play a few of these sounds for you, talk about them a little, explain what's going on. All right, let's jump right into it. So here's a sound that I call Distant Shake, and it's got two different samples layered. One of them is a simple pulse wave from the Game Boy, and another is this kind of trill, but that's way lower in the mix. You can hear that trill in the background. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, next we have a, a sound that I called unstable pulse or unstable 12.5% pulse wave because it's a thinner pulse. And what I've done is I've simply taken the sample from the library, 
but I've added some randomness to it using a bit crusher and some other effects to make it sound really kind of unstable, maybe like almost like a Game Boy that's losing its battery and dying. It sounds like this. I really enjoy sounds like that, that have that kind of randomness to them. I find them very inspiring to play. Let's move on to another program. This one is uses a sort of blip-in sample, and it sounds like this. All right, I call this one Crunchy Bliss <laughs> because it's got a little bit of bit crushing on the Game Boy sample to just give it that extra crunchiness and, you know, some effects to make it sound a little more spacious. Now, a bunch of these programs I've named Tape Freeze. And basically, when you keep the mod wheel down, the sound is going to sound just like a square wave. When you turn up the mod wheel, it's going to sort of freeze the sound with a delay effect. And it's really fun to kind of go back and forth between these kinds of sounds using the mod wheel. Let me give you an example. And I've made a bunch of different programs using this type of effect, and I personally enjoy playing it a lot, and I hope you will too. Here's a sound that's kind of got this accordion-type vibe to it, even though it's using Game Boy samples.
So when I turn the mod wheel up, I am basically adding this gate effect, and which gives it that kind of stuttery accordion vibrating sound, or whatever you call it. <laughs> Here's a pan flute type synth sound using Game Boy samples. Here's a classic Game Boy detuned pulse wave sound. In addition to all the simpler waveforms, we have all these trill type uh, samples in this library, which are a lot of fun. Different arpeggios and different types of chords. For example, here is a diminished chord, but using that same kind of mod wheel freeze effect that I showed you before. I call that one major overkill. It takes a bunch of different arpeggiated samples from this library and kind of layers them together in an interesting way with some modulation and effects. Here's an interesting sound. It's kind of a pad that includes several layers and one of the layers comes in when you bring up the mod wheel that has this kind of trill in the background. Here is one that I called Fading Nostalgia. It just reminds me of my childhood playing Game Boy games and that great feeling of escaping into a magical world. As you could hear, we have this extra layer come in when I turn up the mod wheel that's tuned a fifth above. But they all have this kind of little randomness to the pitch that makes it sound a little more kind of lo-fi and nostalgic to me. All right, so moving on to sound effects. Now, one of the cool things about this ultra deep sampled Game Boy library is that it's got a ton of Game Boy sound effects. They really were super thorough in the way they sampled this. And for the most part, all you have to do is start a new program, drag one of the effects parts onto an empty part, and you're good to go. You're going to have different sound effects on every key. But for the programs that I made, I tried to have the mod wheel do something cool and different to the sound, even though it kind of takes them outside the territory of chiptune a bit. But, you know, it's just another tool that you can use if you want to. So, for example, here is one of the programs I made. This one uses the FX1 part, and 
I'm running that through a bunch of different effects. Now, when the mod wheel's down, you pretty much don't really hear those effects. The sounds are kind of just the, as they were recorded, so. Tons of great Game Boy sound effects. There's a little bit of reverb, but other than that, you're not really hearing the other effects I put on it. But when you turn up the mod wheel, you're g I'm introducing some randomness to these sounds. So every time you play them, they're going to sound a little bit different. Let me give you an example. So that sounds the same every time I play now. If I turn up the mod wheel, it's different every time. Let's take another sample as an example. As you can hear, it's different every time I play the key. And I think that's a lot of fun when you're trying to create these kind of Game Boy sound effects. It's nice to have variation and randomness to it if you want it. So, for example, here's a noise sound effect. Turn up the mod wheel. Sounds completely different. That's a really cool sound. Now let's introduce the mod wheel. <laughs> that gives you a lot more variation, even though there are already hundreds of amazing sound effects in this library. Now they also have a drum kit, really cool kind of crunchy Game Boy sounding drum kit. Now I've done something similar with these where every when, when you're, the mod wheel is down, you hear the samples as they were recorded, but when you bring it up, I'm introducing some other type of effects that kind of takes it outside of the chiptune realm. Uh, for this one in particular, I call it liquid wheel, and when you turn up the mod wheel, you'll hear what it does, but it basically adds this delay effect that is pitch shifted as you move the mod wheel, and it's a lot of fun to play, so. Here's a slightly different type of effect on another one of the drum kits. Several of the kits have a bit crusher on them that you can turn up with the mod wheel. So for example, this one. Now, SoundPane has this cool feature called morphing, where you can kind of morph between two different samples. And here's one patch that uses morphing between two different types of pulse waves to create sort of this transforming pad. <laughs> As you can hear, there are some effects on it as well, like a filter that I could control with the mod wheel, as well as some delay. Right, here's a sample bank called Long Noise Sounds, and you've got a lot of different type of Game Boy noise sound effects. But once again, the mod wheel introduces some extra bit crushing so that you can create more variety based on those sounds. <laughs>
Chip heaven right there. I call this sound, this program, Make Up Your Mind, <laughs> because it's kind of going all over the place pitch-wise. It's got all these blippy kind of sounds. Also got a filter going on that you can control with the mod wheel. And a delay, of course, as you can hear. And of course, some classic arpeggiated sounds as well, you know, where you hold down a chord and it makes an arpeggio for you. Now, in addition to the regular square pulse wave type sounds that the Game Boy is known for, it also actually had a wave channel, which could do these really lo-fi wavetable type sounds. And this library actually has a lot of cool sounds done on that channel. Um, so let me show you some of the sounds, some of the programs that I made using these types of sounds. <laughs> Now this isn't really a chiptune type sound, but it's once again based on these samples, and it's kind of an organ. So as you can hear, the samples themselves are the Game Boy chiptune samples, but it's got this rotary organ type thing where if you bring, turn up the mod wheel, you get like this fast Leslie sort of effect. <laughs> Here's a sound I called Scoopy Goop. 
that's just really scoopy. a classic square Game Boy type lead sound. Here's a nice phasing square pad. Of course, we got some classic bass sounds as well. Here's a patch I called The Boss is Coming. <laughs> Self explanatory, I think. It's a bunch of layers of diminished chord arpeggios with all kinds of modulations happening with the mod wheel, which I think is <laughs> a lot of fun. So that's it for this demo today. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And a big thanks to ADO for having me and letting me create programs for this amazing sound library. Take care, everyone, and Happy New Year.